Hi, Steve Gale here. In this video, we're going to set up the um, Palo Alto um, virtual networking environment for um, Palo Alto Firewall Labs. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up the uh, virtual network editor and um, in VM, VMware Workstation. And you can see here, I've already got some virtual networks set up, but we're going to reconfigure these. So the first thing I need to do is I need to be able to modify the settings. And to do that, I need to be have administrator privileges. So I'm going to go to change settings and say yes. And um, provided I have administrator uh, permissions on my account, I'm able to, um, to do that. So the first um, virtual network we're going to look at is uh, VMNet1. And um, in VMNet1, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that VMNet1 is set to host only. So if we go to VMNet1, you can see down here we've clicked host only network. And um, so in a host only network, it means that um, all our VMs are internally connected in a, um, in a private network. So the next thing we need to do is to, um, is to set the uh, subnet IP address. And um, for the VMNet Labs, we should make sure that connector host virtual adapter to this network is, um, is unchecked. So that should be unchecked. Even though I've got mine checked, it should be unchecked. And, uh, for a, and also the user local DHCP service should also be unchecked. And um, the IP address range we're going to use is uh, 192.168.1.0 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. Okay, so once, once that's completed, then um, we can um, hit the OK button. Actually, we should have hit the apply button, but anyway, let's just go back into the virtual network editor. And again, go into change settings. So when I'm hitting VA1, as I said before, it should be host only. This should be not checked. And um, then when we go and we make some changes, then um, if we change it here, then you, if I'm making changes, you'll see the apply button. I can hit the apply button. So the next thing we need to do is to add a network. And um, the, the, net, the next network we're going to add would be um, VMNet2. And, but you can see here I've already got VMNet2, but if I was going to add a network, I'd say add a network, and I would select VMNet2, and that would add VMNet2. So because I already have VMNet2, I'm just going to modify it. And... Um, for the VMNet2, again, we want to have um, this as a um, host-only network. And we want to uncheck to connect a host virtual adapter to this network. We also want to uncheck user local DHCP service to distribute. And um, for the subnet IP address, it's going to be 203.0.113.0 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. And uh, once we've made these changes, then we can click the, um, the apply button. The next um, VMNet we would add would be VMNet3. So we'd go add network and we'd select VMNet3 from here and we would and then we would um, uncheck, make sure that we uncheck the, um, the boxes connected to a host virtual adapter to this network. So we make sure that we uncheck this and we make sure that this used local DHCP service is unchecked as well. A subnet mask for this network is going to be 192.168.50.0 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. And um, once we've done that, we can um, apply those changes to um, VMNet3. So this time we can create a new one. So we want to create the VMNet4. 
So we're going to add a network and we're going to add VMNet4 and we'll hit OK. Now we're going to make sure that this is again host only and we're going to uncheck this and uncheck this. And for VMNet4, the subnet IP is going to be 0.0. .0 0.0.0 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. And then we can click apply on this one. The next um, virtual network we're going to add is uh, VMNet5. So we'll go to add a network and VMNet5. And um, VMNet5, we want to um, make sure that this is host only. And we're going to uncheck this, uncheck connect a host virtual adapter, uncheck user local DACP service. And um, our subnet IP for this one is going to be um, One dot one dot one dot zero slash subnet mask of two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty five dot zero and then we'll hit apply and the next one we're going to do is we're going to look at VMNet eight. So let's go and have a look at VMNet eight and you can see here VMNet eight is NAT which is what we want. And, um, and so we want this to be a net network and you can see here, we've got a net network here. And um, with this one, we want to connect a host virtual adapter because this is going to provide us with internet access and that network. And we also want to use a local DHCP service but for the subnet IP, we want 192.168.30.0 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. So if I just change that to um, 30.0, maybe I can apply. No, it's known that I haven't made a change. So then we can apply this one. And then finally, we can click OK because we, once we've done this, we've completed all of our network configuration. So let's just have another look just to see what we've done. So we'll run up our virtual network editor. This time we're not making any changes, so we don't need to select change settings. So we've got VMNet1, which is our host only network, and, um, and that's 192.168.1.0. We've got VMNet2, which is our custom network, and um, that's 203.0.113.0. VMNet3, 192.168.50.0, VMNet4, 0.0.0.0, VMNet5, 1.1.1.0, and VMNet8, which is our net network, which is 192.168.30.0. So how are we going to apply these? Let's have a look at um, um, a, um, a network diagram. And I'll just bring in the back in the virtual network editor into the, um, into the, um, space, see if I can. Um, well, let's have a look at this first. So here's our um, VMNet1, which is our 192.168.1 network. And this is going to be our inside zone of our firewall network. Then we've got uh, VMNet2, which is our outside zone, which is our 203.0.113.0. So this is our VMNet2 that we've created. And um, then we've got VMNet3, which is our DMZ zone. And that's the 192.168.50 network. So that's our DMZ zone. And then we've got over here VMNet 8, which is our NAT zone, which is our internet zone. And that's gonna give, um, give us internet access. So we'll just move this over to the left here and bring this over to the right here. See if we can make enough space so that we can get both of these in. It's probably as good as we can do. So VMNet1 is our um, 
host only network. This is our 192.168.1 network. That's our inside zone. Then we've got uh, VMNet2, which is our, um, our um, outside zone. So you can see here 203.0.113.0. This is our VMNet2, which is our outside zone. We've got VMNet3, which is our DMZ zone, 192.168.50.0. So this is our VMNet3. And um, four and five, we're probably not, which are used for internal networking. And then VMNet8, which is our NAT zone. Which is over here, which provides a, which will provide us with um, with internet. So that's basically all we need to do to um, configure our virtual network. Thanks very much.